What's going on, guys? Happy Wednesday. I'm Mike Norris. I've got Callie Kramer with us from Urban Matter today. And we're going to talk to you about how we built a website. We went from zero to 2.4 million visitors per year in five years. Oh, so, yeah. Um, yeah. And the website is Urban Matter. It's a media company in Chicago. But I'll let Callie tell you a little bit more about Urban Matter and her role in Urban Matter. Hi guys, what's up? So yeah, Urban Matter. Uh, we are Chicago's premier media company that kind of tells you everything that there is to do downtown. So we specialize in bars and restaurants, events, festivals, theater, music, pretty much anything you can think of, um, the best events to do. We got the inside scoop. So we have a website and uh, yeah, we worked pretty closely with UTech on building it. And, you know, five years ago, we were kind of just this small media company, and now we are bringing in about 2.4 million users a year. So it's definitely grown a lot in the past five years, and we're just going to kind of tell you a little bit about how we did that. Yeah. Yeah, and it's, it's funny to see uh, the trajectory. So this is, this is my favorite project. i sorry for all of our clients who are watching this. It's just super fun to work with a media company and to uh, – be able to write articles and share and see all the traction that we get because 2.4 million annual visitors is, I mean, it's, it's phenomenal. Um, and to see it come from literally zero and to work on it day one where, you know, we, we bought the URL. Uh, it was originally called chicagogenie.com when we purchased that domain. Um, we built the social media accounts. I personally built them and uh, we had zero followers. You know, I invited my mom, my grandma to like the page. Um, and then, you know, you go on and, we, we write articles and we see, we see our friends and family sharing them without any idea that, that we had a part in that, um, you know, years down, years down the road. So that's been exceptional. Um, but let's talk about the journey a little bit, Callie. So um, how did we get to this place? Yeah, so um, content, content, content. That's kind of been like our driving force. We are constantly producing more and better content. Um, We've noticed that best of lists are kind of the driving force. Like people love to know the top 10 of anything, you know, pizza, tacos, sushi, we've got it all. So we are constantly going after keywords that people have not actually um, used before. Before, you know, we were trying to create general guides to establish our authority in Chicago, but now we're kind of trying to, you know, break away from that and get a more unique voice and find the things that people haven't talked about. Um, yeah, and we also will kind of reach out to people that we um, have talked about or, you know, people that are throwing events or restaurants um, that are opening in Chicago. And if we write an article about them, we'll send it to them and say, hey, can you just kind of backlink this on your website? Um, getting that link building going is really important when it comes to, you know, optimizing SEO. So that's kind of how we've tried to, you know, started from the bottom and now we're here. And uh, yeah, it's been, it's been a crazy journey, but, you know, we're doing all right. Yeah, yeah, let's say. Um, and it, you bring up a good point, and that is primarily driven by organic search right now, SEO. Uh, but that wasn't always the case. When we were first working on this, it was, uh, it was all social media driven for the most part. We didn't have any links going back to our site. We had no authority in Google's eyes. And it's really an excellent case study in, in that sense, in that um, if you create content every day and you create good quality content and you, you share it on social, um, people will start to organically link back to you. And if you write about people and places and um, give them good reviews then and, and let them know that you did it, they'll link back to you in that instance too. Um, so we saw, you know, when we started this five years ago, uh, that was 2014, <laughs> uh, yes. yeah, we, uh, we, at that time, Facebook was a much different place. And that's where we drove a majority of our traffic. So we had um, we know we wrote articles when the Blackhawks won the uh, Stanley Cup. We uh, wrote articles about when the Cubs won the World Series. And we, uh, wrote, a, we wrote about where the parade would be. And we didn't actually know where the parade would be yet, but because we were the first article out there and we posted it right as the uh, Game 7 clincher happened, everything just blew up for us, for social media. Everyone was sharing our article, and then we went back and updated it later to include the actual information once we had it. So um, those kind of things helped us so much, but it was funny in year one, you know, we'd get, let's say we got 8,000 views on a post. We'd be like, Oh my God, we got 8,000 views. It's so cool. And then, you know, now it's like, we probably get that per day. So um, it, it's really just been an excellent journey in that sense. Yeah. 
It really has. Um, yeah, and we've kind of established authority on several different topics. You know, like um, we have this running pizza article that everybody hates because it's uh, a constant battle over which one really is the top pizza place in Chicago. But that's, you know, writing content that's going to generate that engagement too is super important. You know, find the topics that people really are passionate about and they will engage with your article and, mm -hmm. you know, um, you know, get those comments and share them and say, hey, I disagree with this or I, you know, this is the best list ever. And for the record, it is the best list ever. So feel free to check it out. We've got some good places on there. Um, yeah, I mean, we'll do that for like Winter Wonderfest too. We've got a great guide on that. Um, it's a, you know, a holiday event at Navy Pier. And um, yeah, just kind of, you know, making sure that you fill articles with the right information is super important. Um, you know, not just kind of fluffing it up, but actually writing good content that goes a long way. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I think that's a good point. So the main things that we should tell people here and how we built this up, it's a lot of content. We, we probably write at least three articles per day over the course of the last five years. So know that um, links coming back to those articles, obviously. So backlink outreach, all that social media was a huge part for so long. Facebook probably drove about 90% of our traffic for those first three, four years. Now it's probably about 70, 80% Google. Do you think that's right? Oh yeah. Yeah. We've definitely grown our organic search massively. And that also came with the restructuring of our new website. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, no organic traffic has gone up about 70% um, since the new site launched and it's been great. I mean, you know, we're now seeing this shift in where um, Facebook is not getting us as much traffic, but we're making up for it in organic and then some, you know, yeah. You know, it took a while to get there, but that's SEO. Yeah. Yeah. So it's, it's, I mean, definitely there's been a lot of manpower that's gone into it. Those advertising dollars on Facebook in the beginning really helped out too, but also just having articles go semi-viral mm -hmm. um, really helped us grow. And then, you know, over time, just continuing to pump out quality content, get those backlinks. We've been, we've been good. And then the new site structure, obviously the site speed, uh, the user interface is much better. Um, things I think that we're on there that were a little bit bulky or intrusive. We've kind of cleaned up and gotten rid of. So you got to keep things updated, you know, like yeah. something's going to be outdated within a month. So as long as you're kind of constantly thinking about new things to do to engage your audience and, and simplify too, I feel like, you know, our website previously had been complicated. So we, you know, restructured it and made it a lot easier for people to navigate. And that's super important too. Yeah. And I, I think you told me this offline, but and correct me if I'm wrong, but I think we've grown our organic by about 70% year over year. Yeah. Yeah. Since the site launched, for sure. It's been about 70% growth every single month year over year. So yeah, it's insane. It keeps going up. So it's great. Hope we can do it again next year. Yeah, absolutely. Right. Double that. Uh, last word on anything before we get out of here. Um, yeah. So we're on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter at Urban Matter Chicago. So feel free to follow us. And then please check out the website, urbanmatter.com slash Chicago. We've got, we know everything about anything that there is to do in Chicago. So if you're looking for something to do this weekend or even just finding good drink specials during the week, whatever it is, we got you covered. And check out that pizza article too. Oh yeah. No, that one's my favorite. It's so, <laughs> so good. Warning though. <laughs> The pictures are amazing. <laughs> All right. Thank you, everybody. Happy Wednesday. Thanks.